Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you two microcurrent routines and a very minimalist makeup routine to freshen yourself up for an evening out. We had a wonderful day exploring, but to be honest, when I got back, I really needed to kind of spruce myself up and I didn't want to put makeup on top of the skin that I'd had out and about all day long. We went to the beach and so it's just been a really busy day. We went out to brunch. So I just wanted to freshen up and I thought, Two microcurrent routines, a targeted one for the lips, and a full facial would be just the answer with a little bit of minimalist makeup. If you have the Foreo Bare, or if you have the New Face, I am sure on their apps, they have similar treatments. So you can just do like a full facial treatment and then do a targeted treatment for your lips. I have a couple of you that have recently purchased the Foreo Bare too, and are loving it. And for those of you who've been asking about my eye, it's healing up, it's doing so much better. And it wasn't trauma, it was just a blood vessel that broke in my eye. And it's looking a lot better, but it's certainly taking its sweet time to heal up. So thanks very much for asking and all your well wishes. I really appreciate that. On your Zip app, you're gonna find both routines. The all-inclusive is down a little bit, but you'll see that it says new treatment and the lip treatment is at the top. I'm gonna to start with the all-inclusive and this has nanocurrent and microcurrent. And you can see over here, it's kind of in small writing that it's gonna be on intensity two. So it's kind of moderate. Both of these routines, both the lip routine and the all-inclusive are moderate routines. Soft microcurrents boost circulation and mimic lip plumpings. We're not actually swelling the lip physically with the current. What we're doing is just increasing circulation to give the lip a fuller look. And she's very clear about that. The all-inclusive routine is a 12-minute routine. It says medium strong microcurrent, so that makes it moderate, and then an energizing nanocurrent. Perfect for right before you go out in the evening, kind of gives your face that rejuvenated look. I'm gonna start the all-inclusive treatment first. And I've got my little zip, I brought it with me. So you just sink it, I'm turning this on first. Gives that beep, and then I start the treatment. And what I love is she gives you time, see that means that my Bluetooth was on and it signaled. And now I'm just gonna put on my gel. And I love that she gives you some time to put on your gel. So, and it she tells you a little bit about the routine. So you just follow along. If you want a decent layer of gel, I always spritz before I apply my gel, no matter which of the gels that I'm using. Today I'm using the Electro Complex gel, and I need a little bit more of this. I usually do like three squirts of this. It's a little bit thinner, a more of a serum texture than a gel texture. I find the other gels a little bit thicker, so I need an extra pump or two of this. And if you're having trouble with your microcurrent kind of giving you too much feedback, I'm definitely gonna cover my lips too. Then definitely put more gel on. And that is one reason why I like the other gels. I can actually use less of it and it doesn't cause any of those zapping sensations, just kind of tingles. So I've got all my conductive gel on and you can see my lights on, so I'm synced. So I'm gonna hit the play button and she's gonna walk me through the treatment. And we wanna have our gel on all the way under the jawline for this. When you hear that beep, you just start again. And it's a very gentle routine. I can barely feel this. It's just super gentle. And I'm gonna turn the volume down so you can kind of watch me without hearing her, but she'll walk you through the entire routine step by step. And it looks like we're doing repeated rounds of the neck in this routine. This is the first time I've tried this routine. And you might ask, well, why are we doing microcurrent before we go out? I think it just gives that extra glow to my skin for an evening look. We've been out all day, having a really great time, and I was kind of like sweaty and I felt a little bit off. I didn't want to just jump into going out to dinner. So I decided I would do a zip routine, kind of see what kind of refreshed look that I could get to my skin before I put my makeup on. Instead of just washing my face, I thought, why not throw in a zip routine? especially since they've just come out with the lip plumping routine. So I was pretty excited to try that too. And then we're kind of moving up to the jawline. And now we're doing some brow work and just slowly gliding up. And I'm also going to share with you the makeup that I'm going to use. Now she's kind of doing a full sweep. We're starting all the way at the bottom of our neck, going to our mid cheek, over the brow and I had some concern people were saying you can't use this over the brow you can follow the directions that zip recommends they're not we're not going over our eyelid we're just going over the brow 
So we're going into the brow bone and then all the way up the forehead, starting at the cheek. And then under the eye and over the brow and back up. And she's also catching the nasal label folds on this. As you can see, when you do this move, she's going over, you catch your nasal labial fold. And now it's time to switch sides. Once you hear that beep. It's always wise to skip the thyroid area. And then we're going back to the jawline in the more of a horizontal direction and holding at the ear. Right above my lip area, so upper lip and chin. So I'm not yet treating the lip area. Then we're gonna come under the cheek and up toward the brow. And you might see a little bit of like flashing lights up near the brow area, completely normal. So what I like about this routine is it goes both vertically and horizontally. So it's getting every little spot on your face. It's really, and this is all inclusive, it's not kidding. And that is the signal to the end of my treatment. So that was a 12 minute treatment. It really went by quickly. So now I'm gonna to switch to the lip treatment. For the lip treatment, I'm only gonna apply a little bit more gel because I have quite a bit of gel on here. Okay, so I'm back on the Zip app and I'm gonna to go to the top and that's where the lip treatment is living right now. When it downloads to your phone, I'm not sure it'll still be there because some of the individual treatments like the brows and the plump and the deep puff and the eyes kind of live at the bottom. And, but right now, because it's a new treatment, I think we have it at the top. So I'm just going to tap on the treatment. Treatment's on and sync. The double beep says that it's synced. I've applied my gel and the treatment's gonna start. We're gonna do the lower lip first and you're just gonna rock back and forth and it's going over the lower lip. And I'm doing very light pressure and it doesn't zap at all. It just feels like a very slight tingle. And this is a two minute routine. So we're gonna do the bottom lip and then we're gonna do the top lip. And I hired the beep, so I'm gonna to move to the top lip. And same thing, keeping the globes in contact with the vermilion border. Try to get a little of your upper lip too and your nasal labial fold. You'll see that the globe will go over that area too. And the treatment's over, so that was two minutes. Now I like to towel off my gel. So here's how my lips look after. I think they look really nice. I think lipstick is gonna go on a much more smoothly than if I hadn't done this routine because they're feeling really hydrated. I'm gonna do another little bit of toner. That's just the CeraVe toner that I put in a little travel bottle. And I'm gonna let that dry down for a moment. I've already done my vitamin C for the day, so I'm gonna skip the vitamin C and just move on to my anti-pigmentation serum. If you haven't been on my website recently, you can check my favorite anti-pigmentation serums or brightening serums, and I'll leave a link down below in the description. But one of my faves is definitely Major Fade by Dr. Idris. I was gonna put on some peptides, but my face feels pretty dewy. I think I'm just gonna move on with my eye cream. I love this eye cream by Tatcha. Now it is a cream versus a gel. I do have a favorite gel too. One of my favorites is Dr. Loretta, and then I also love the Jordan Samuel eye gel. But this just gives lovely hydration plus a little bit of brightening. And you don't need much, but it's really a lovely eye cream. And I will put on a little bit of my Tatcha Kisu. This is my favorite one for daytime. It's nice for just giving that full shiny lip. Now I don't use a matte lipstick. If you do, you probably would not want to put this underneath because it's not going to mattify. I use either lip gloss or very creamy lipstick. I don't use anything with a lot of pigmentation, but I feel like my lips and my skin are looking so much better than when I dashed in this evening to get ready. I am gonna put on some sunscreen because it's still a little sunny out and I know we're gonna be outside. I've got these little travel size of the Beauty of Joseon. I kind of regret I didn't buy a bigger one, but I brought three little travel size ones but I really need to reorder from Style Vana. I love the sunscreen. It just gives, and you don't even need, in my opinion, even if you have dry skin, you don't really need a moisturizer with this. I just think it's one of the best. Now it's not great for sports. You know, it's not waterproof or anything. And it is a chemical sunscreen. It's not mineral. And I have been looking for the perfect mineral 
sunscreen and I think I have three to try for you guys in an upcoming video probably like at the end of end of March beginning of May probably May all right so I think that looks really good I don't have a mirror so I'm just kind of going on faith here and sitting in front of a window and so we're gonna let that sit for just a minute and then I'm gonna share with you the makeup that I've been using I did a story on it on Instagram but I haven't shared it on YouTube yet the company OG sent me their contouring set this is a lovely stick makeup and I was super skeptical as I said the other day I was super super skeptical about this makeup because I haven't had great luck with the Westman Atelier and this seems very similar to that the price point's a little bit lower and the contour set I think is on sale right now but I'll put everything down in the description so you can check it out and I was also I had such bad luck with the Westman Atelier online foundation match I just really never found one that matched OG sent me theirs in Aspen so, and this is the color, and it's not too yellow. I honestly thought it was going to be too yellow, but it is not too yellow. And you'll see how it kind of just blends into my neck, which is a little bit darker, and my face, which is a little pinker. I love applying makeup with my fingers, like especially when you're on vacation. You don't want to be all hassled with a really long makeup routine, or at least I don't. I want to get to visiting with friends and family and get out the door and still look really decent. So I'm just gonna blend this in with my fingers. And you know me, I'm all about easy breezy minimalist makeups. So what did you guys think about the lip routine and the all-inclusive routine? I was really impressed. And I'm sure if you don't have a zip, that there are routines that you can do on like the Foreo app or the other apps. I think the New Face has their new app, the New Face Plus, I think it's called, and the Foreo Bear 2. Both of those, I'm sure, have apps that are similar to this that can do a bit of lip plumping and an all-over routine just to kind of make you glow in the evening. So I'm sure that the Zip isn't the only one out there with these cool routines that can really do targeted areas plus give you an overall glow. All right, so that is my foundation set. I'm going to come in, excuse me, I'm going to come in with the contour stick and the contour stick they sent me is in obsidian and for me i th i was really freaked out but it, i just apply the smallest amount on my cheek it's for a little contour my brow and my jawline and then of course i'll go check this in the mirror to make sure it's all nicely blended and you can use a brush to blend all this i just prefer to use my fingers and just tap it all in but I will double check in a big mirror in the big bathroom mirror to make sure the final look is nice. And it isn't a fancy dinner, it's just a family gathering, but I wanted to look my best since we're gonna be out and about. And I had a little spot here. I'm wondering if this covered it up. So I can use a little bit more of this. It layers pretty well. And I don't have any translucent powder, but if I was feeling a little bit glowy, then easily I would use my ambient lighting powder over this just to kind of soften the look and decrease the glow. But I kind of like the glow with, that this makeup gives. I was really impressed that it didn't feel heavy and it feels very light on the face, whereas some of the sticks that I've used in the past, stick foundations, I felt like they're kind of heavy in addition to having trouble finding a uh, shade match. So let's see, I've got the contouring done. I'm gonna go in with a little blush and I've been doing my blush a little bit differently. Oh, and you know what? I wanted to put a little bit of this. So I do my J and I'm gonna show you how I blend it in. I'm gonna use a little bit of this and I may or may not do an eyeshadow look today. I brought my Trio, which is the one I love for travel. So I may or may not do an eyeshadow look and I just tap this in. And as this sits on your skin, it kind of melts into your skin and becomes warm with your skin. So as most cream makeups do. So I did not bring, I've traveled pretty light. I didn't bring my color correctors either. So I'm just using this just to kind of even things up in my under eye, just tapping really lightly, very light amount. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And we're gonna come in. Now I did my blush, but I'm gonna show you a trick that I've been doing. And I bring the blush up a little bit higher and almost in my under eye area. So it kind of bag, <laughs> kind of bags. It kind of blends where my tear trough sits and my blush starts, so it's just not quite so obvious. Blending my blush in my under eye area has really been a great trick. 
And let's see, next I'm gonna do the highlighter that they sent. Now I usually use the Lit Highlighter by West Natalia, I love that, but they sent me Pearl and it's kind of a blush pink highlighter. So I'm just gonna put a little on my cheeks just for that evening look. And where else? Maybe down the center of my nose. I did contour my nose. But maybe I will. Maybe I'll put a little contour in the nose. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. That's kind of a new step for me as a minimalist makeup person. Oh, there's the contour. Oh, here it is. I, you know, had never really jumped into that. Hopefully this doesn't look too crazy once I blend it out. I don't think it will. I tried it the other day and it didn't look too bad. And like I said, I promise I'll go in the big mirror and the bright light in the bathroom and give this a second once over. All right, so that's kind of it for my foundation, my blush, and my contour. I'm gonna grab my trio and we'll do just a very basic eyeshadow look. So I went and looked in the bright light in the bathroom and I think I wanna add a little bit more of the blush, just for a little bit of blush pop. Give my face a little bit more definition, look like it being in the sun a little bit. I think that's a little better. What do you think? I mean, it's such a natural look. I love these OG sticks. They are like the most natural makeup look that I've tried in ages. All right, so I've got my little trio palette. You got three neutrals, which the neutrals have been out of stock forever. Oh my gosh, I've been trying to get my mom one because she loves the neutral palette and I can't get her one. So I just like to do number one, the lightest color all over. The if you have recessed eyes, really highlighting the top of your brow kind of helps things pop a little bit. I have super recessed eyes. Center. Now, I'm kind of breaking my rule for, or my new rule for hooded eyes. I don't put this dark of a shade typically, but this is going to be kind of an evening look and then a little bit in the corner. I've been doing a really bright satin in that area. And I might actually put some of the lighter color in the corner to kind of lighten up a little bit over the hood. Because I think a satin for recessed eyes gives a really nice pop, especially in the evening. So that's the one thing this little palette is missing. There's no satin. All right, I'm gonna take my blending brush and the brushes that I'm using today are the BK Beauty travel brushes. So I bring those with me. And then I'm gonna grab some mascara and the sun is setting. It's so pretty. At the end of this video, I'll show you a picture of the sunset. It is like absolutely amazing. So I applied my mascara. Have you guys ever done the fingertip and kind of put my hair back a little bit and my earrings on and my shirt? Have you guys ever done the finger trick where you put on your mascara? I use the Tower 28 lengthening and curling mascara where you kind of hold your lashes up when it's kind of semi dry and it gives them a bit of a boost of a curl. So I love to do that. I'm still quite afraid of the lash curlers. I yanked my eyebrows or eyelashes out years ago and I still haven't quite gotten over that trauma. So I always just kind of go like this. I'm going to have used a lash curler maybe two or three times since then, but I just like, I just prefer this. So this is my minimalist makeup look for this evening. I'm also going to apply a little Chantecai and look out my, I mean, I really think that really plumped up my lips. No. And it works by circulation, so it's not doing an actual lip plumping effect by physically plumping them up. And I also wanted to mention that I am allergic to lip plumpers, so this is a great solution for me. All the lip plumpers I try, I get these little blisters on my lip after about 24 hours. I have tried several different ones, so it's kind of unfortunate for me that I can't use the lip plumpers, but this seems to work really well. I am loving the OG sticks, like this is, my idea of the perfect minimalist makeup. They travel really well. I only need four sticks to do this really easy breezy look. I can add a little bit of extra to get a more glam look in the evening or just add a little bit more of the highlighter, the pearl. So you can kind of layer it really nicely to get a little bit more of a glam look. But you know me, I'm a minimalist makeup girl and you probably will never see a full glam makeup look on this channel. I'm just kind of a casual girl. That's the lip treatment and the all-inclusive zip treatment. 
If you have the Foreo Bear or if you have the new face, any of the microcurrents that you already have probably have facials that are very similar to this. I was thinking of getting out my Foreo Bear 2 and doing kind of a comparison between the Zip and the Foreo Bear 2. So let me know if you'd like a video doing that. I did a brief introduction to the Foreo Bear 2 back during the holiday season. So this is kind of my minimalist makeup look for the evening, super casual dinner out with family and friends. So. Thanks very much for watching and wishing you all a fantastic day.